Hello Virgo, thank you so much for joining me today on your um, general love reading. This is going to be a nightmare after Christmas reading and I only call it that because it's after Christmas and I'm using this nightmare before Christmas uh, tarot deck that my mother-in-law got for me as a gift. So this should be fun. Um, keep in mind that this is just a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you and time is fluid and energies are interchangeable, meaning it is not gender specific. So feel free to swap the roles as you see fit, okay? However, do not force a situation or role to fit your scenario if it doesn't resonate, all right? Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. It'll really help my channel out a lot. I truly appreciate it. I'm grateful for all of your supportive energy. Let's see, universe, spirits, and guides. What messages do we have for Virgo in love? What messages do we have for Virgo in love? Let's give it one more shuffle here. All right, let's do this. What is the current situation between Virgo and their person, Spirit? What is the current situation between Virgo and their person? Oh my gosh. Wow, you got the Ace of Candles. This is a new beginning. This is passion, fire, chemistry. Um, there's, I feel a strong sexual connection here with this card. Interesting. Let's see. All right. How does this person feel about Virgo spirit? How does this person feel about Virgo romantically? Oh. So you got the page of potions. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. But this is somebody who is almost, I want to say timid with their emotions, kind of shy. Someone who may feel like they um, may feel a little bit intimidated by you. But this could also be talking about someone who wants to offer love, but might have some sort of um, commitment issue. Let's see. Okay, what is this? The Ten of Potions. I think that this, whoever this is, sees happiness with you. You know, the Ten of Potions is emotional bliss, emotional fulfillment. This is, um, for some, for some of you, this could be talking about, you know, marriage or engagement. I don't know. But it just, it feels like this person is really happy with you. What, let's see, what is a major blockage? And don't worry, I will go through and clarify everything as soon as I lay out all the cards here. What is a major blockage in this connection, spirit? What is a major blockage in this connection for Virgo? Oh, so you got the King of Candles. Interesting. This is giving me that energy of, um, there's a lot there's a lot of chemistry. It feels like there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person, but it feels like a lot of it is um, sexual chemistry. A lot of it is passion. And maybe you're you're wondering if there's more to it than, than that. So that that's why it's it could be a potential blockage. Let's see, what actions will this person take towards Virgo, Spirit? 
what actions will this person take towards Virgo? What actions will this person take towards Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. So the Seven of Potions. Now this card talks about possibilities opening up, right? Or this could be talking about having a lot of options. I might, I'm gonna have to clarify that because for, for some of you, I see that maybe they're going to expand their, their, it, it's like, it's like a window being open. You know what I mean? Um, maybe they're going to open up different possibilities for you. Maybe they're going to open doors for you. But for some of you, I also feel like maybe this person might want to keep you as an option. Just, that's just kind of what I'm picking up here. Let's see, um, what is the outcome, Spirit? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome for Virgo? Ten of potions in reverse. This is um, instability. When it's in reverse like that, it's a lack of stability. Um, it's not a solid foundation. And then you got the Knight of Presence in reverse here. It almost feels like this connection. I'm just going to be real honest with you with what um, I'm picking up here. But it almost feels like this connection. Yes, there might be a lot of attraction and chemistry and love. But I feel like this connection might not end up being a very stable one. To be honest. Okay. Let's see, what is on the bottom of the deck here? What's the overall energy for the two? The King of Needles. Now, this feels like, like so the King of Needles represents logic. It represents um, thinking, planning, strategizing. And this could be what you're doing. It, it, this could be like you trying to figure out if this relationship is really worth it, you know, in the end. This could be the other person trying to figure out if this relationship is, is worth it in the end. But this is the overall energy. So it, it's like there is contemplating happening on both ends, I feel. All right, let's go ahead and clarify some things here. Spirit, can you clarify this Ace of Candles for me? <sighs> clarify this Ace of Candles for Virgo. Clarify this current situation for Virgo. So you got the Page of Needles in reverse. And then the Three of Potions in reverse. And what that feels like to me is maybe there was a release of um, an immature energy with this page of needles here in reverse. Maybe there is, maybe this relationship is immature. That's kind of what I'm, that's kind of what I'm hearing is maybe this relationship is still just new it's starting out and it's still very young 
Um, but with this three potions in reverse, it's it's almost like you've stepped out of maybe you started out as friends and then you you're like stepped out of that friend zone. You get what I'm saying? So maybe this is a connection that started out as friends and now you guys are, you know, getting it on, doing whatever, doing the hanky panky. I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and clarify this page of uh, potions here. No, Spirit is saying no. Sorry, Virgo, Spirit said no, we already done clarified that one. Okay, let's move on to the King of Candles then. Major blockage, clarify this King of Candles. Look, you got another page. The page of candles in reverse. I'm seeing here, there's three pages so far. Now there's only four pages in the deck. I feel some, that someone here is pretty immature. And maybe the page of candles in reverse, I get this feeling of like, wanting to rush in, wanting this is a this is a Virgo that wants marriage like right off the bat that wants a, a that kind of relationship right off the bat because I feel like with this page of candles in reverse it's like you want to offer that you want to offer that to this person but it feels like they're not ready it feels like this relationship has just started mm-hmm clarify. This king of uh, candles again for me, spirit. Then you got the king of potions in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Maybe this is a, I'm getting this feeling that this is another person Maybe this is someone that you had to release in order to start this new beginning with this person, with this King of uh, Candles here. Maybe somehow this person is still interfering. But the King of Potions also could be talking about emotions, um, being out of alignment, right? And that's, I feel like that's part of the blockage too, is you have so much feelings for this person. I Like I said before, there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of love. There's a lot of emotion, but this is um, that, that feeling of like uncertainty. This King of Potion is like that feeling of I don't, like, my emotions are telling me one thing. My mind is, it's like, my mind is telling me yes. You know, or my mind is telling me no. <laughs> but my body, my body is telling me yes. <laughs> the Ten of Candles. Yeah, this is like, um, burden. You know, this is uh, that feeling of, there's just, it just feels like there's so much weight on your shoulders that maybe this is why you're turning to this relationship. Maybe this is that feeling of needing somebody to, to turn to, you know, because there is such a strong attraction and chemistry. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this uh, Seven of Potions, Spirit. Clarify this Seven of Potions for me. What actions will this person take towards Virgo? So you got the Nine of Needles in reverse. This is a, this is fear. This is um, acting out of fear. This is, 
a deep-rooted fear, too. I feel. Let's see. What else, spirit? What else can you tell me about the seven of potions here? What else? Thank you. Seven of candles. This is a this is a feeling of <clears throat> fighting for what you believe in with the seven of candles there. This is a feeling of, of going through obstacles. Maybe there's gonna be maybe there's competition involved here. But for some of you, I definitely feel like this person, the reason why they're taking um, this approach in terms of like their actions towards you, I feel like this person is fighting for like, they're f going through some personal challenges here. Maybe that's why, maybe that's why they're choosing to keep you as an option because they're going through some some shit. They're getting over some fears here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ten of Presence in reverse along with the Knight of Presence in reverse. Maybe you think that this person is reliable, but it, it's going to turn up not to be the case that's kind of what i'm picking up here because the king of the knight of presence the knight of pentacles right side up that's you know mr right mr reliable this is a person that has a solid offer you know to give but this with the ten of presence in reverse it's almost like i don't know if this person is going to be reliable i hate to tell you that virgo Temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is a balancing of the emotions here. So I feel like, yeah, and then the three of presence. So you could have met this person at work with this card. Ultimately, the three of presence or the three of pentacles symbolizes working together, collaboration, planning, right? And I feel like things are, things might end up being unstable with this person and that might end up causing you to find some kind of balance and patience within yourself. With the temperance card here. Yeah. For some of you, you might end up having to walk away from this connection and focus on work, you know, focus on your own stability. Because what I'm kind of picking up here is that this whole situation of it being unstable is going to cause you to truly find yourself, truly do some healing here. And it's gonna take some work. Maybe this relationship is gonna need is gonna need some work. Interesting. <sighs> yeah, but it, it feels like this is a new this is a new relationship that seems promising. Um because there's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of love but it almost feels like there's just instability and i and it could be the because this person doesn't this person might have commitment issues you know 
Because even the King of Candles, that's very like in and out energy. So I don't know. You take that as it resonates, Virgo. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, let's go ahead and pull one more card to close out this reading. What advice do we have for Virgo moving forward, Spirit? What advice do we have for Virgo moving forward? What advice do we have for Virgo? You see that? Check that out. It's the queen of candles. This is tapping into your um, power. This is tapping into your higher self, you know, raising your vibration. It's creative energy. It's, you know, the queen of uh, candles, she gets things done. She's a go-getter. She gets what she wants, right? But as an advice card, I feel like what spirit is trying to tell you is that you need to ra continue to raise your vibration because even if this person, even if this person doesn't end up being the one for you, the higher you raise your vibration, the more likely the one will show up in your life because this is, this is divine counterparts right here. You see this? And this may not be, take it, take it as it resonates. Like this may not be with this person, but I foresee a divine counterpart happening one way or the other. So long as you continue to, to match that vibration, to raise your vibration. You get what I'm saying, Virgo? Yeah, look, bottom of the deck, you got four of candles in reverse, four of wands. So, <laughs> yeah, it feels like there's some work that needs to be done in this in this connection. If you do want it, want to take it to that level of marriage, to that higher level of commitment, um, for some of you, I feel like for others of you, maybe this is a connection that just might not work out. That's just kind of what I'm hearing, and I and I hate to say that, Virgo, but the but you know. Ultimately, what needs to be done at the end of the day is you having to continue to find your confidence, find your power, and raise your vibration. Because if this doesn't turn out to be the one, then there's always going to be someone else, right? All right, Virgo, um, that's all I have for you today. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, please go ahead and click the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. And until next time, Virgo, I will see you later. Bye.